Good morning, good morning everyone. Welcome back to my channel if you're not new and if you are new, welcome for the first time. Today I have an open collab. Let me get that for you. This is hashtag Friday Halls at Life with Lois, Lois 7262. So it's all one word, hashtag Friday Halls at, next line, at Life with Lois 7262. So in the Friday hauls, you can put any kind of haul that you might have. It could be a thrift store, a grocery store, a garage sale, um, a garden haul, whatever you like. So today my husband stopped at the uh, local, it's not our farmer's market, but they're there, um, I think seven days a week right now because it's the season. And they just set up some tents and tables at the local marina and um, that's where they sell their goods. And that's where I got those great big beautiful beefsteak tomatoes. And so this, t this week they have some wonderful fresh Washington blackberries and blueberries. Well, we have blueberry bushes here and I'm, you know, I'm done with blueberries. We're good. But we don't have good blackberries. We have deer fodder blackberries. Our blackberries that grow are very small and very thorny. And I need to plant some Himalayan and keep them in one area away from the deer. <laughs> so anyway, got it. Um, they call this a case, and I don't believe it's a case. I think it's a half a case. M correct me if I'm wrong. It's one, two, three, four, five, six of the pint size baskets. All are delicious, fat, sweet, wonderful berries. And the other thing that he picked up was a Hermiston seeded red watermelon. Mm -mm -mm. This is going to be good too because it's a local, um, it's, uh, yeah, Oregon. So these are Washington and these are Oregon, but Oregon's just a state above us, obviously. Below us? I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm a bare, very little brain. Oregon is below us. Anyway, what my plans are. Oh, let me tell you this. You will not believe what we paid for this. So if you would like to guess, put your guess in the description below. I would love that. And um, we'll see how close you are. In addition, guess how much this was. So you can guess both or you can guess each or one or, you know. Okay, now what I was going to say is I'm going to try a recipe I've never tried before. I went online and I got... The Pioneer Woman's Blackberry Cobbler. So this is different from the cobbler that I have typically ever made. And I'm going to give it a shot. It only takes, um, let me see what it says about that. It says two cups of fresh or frozen blackberries. So what I plan to do is give it a shot, see how it works. I uh, am just going to chop this up for dinner tonight. Ew, in addition, tonight is going to be, it's Friday, tonight's going to be the, um, oh, tailgate slider White Castle dupe hamburgers. How's that sound? <laughs> and I've got my, my buns back here. My Hawaiian buns is what I'm going to use for the sliders. If they're not blue, they've been here a while. When do they expire? Let me grab those. Okay, they're not blue, but I can't find... Oh, there it is. <laughs> it says Best Buy... I'm going to have to put my glasses on. Hold on. I just didn't go far enough. Here it is on the yellow flowers. Best Buy September 3rd. We're just in time. Because today is the 30th from what I hear. Can you believe that? The 30th of August. For me, I'm just glad that August is moving along, getting out of here. I'm very happy about that because there's nothing better to me than autumn and harvest and cooler weather and rain and, you know, <laughs> I'm like that. Okay, I'm going to get busy with doing this and show you along the way how I do it. It is a pretty day out here. Just lots of sun. The grass is all brown because that's what happens. We live on acreage and we don't water it. You know, I mean, we'll water flowers, but that's as far as we're going. <laughs> All right, that took a while, but I am back. You you won't notice the time delay, but I did. I uh, washed up all of the berries and 
Oh, I haven't washed these yet. I picked through them and a bunch of them were moldy, just a bunch of them. So I um, quickly messaged the fruit stand people and I told them what happened and I sent them pictures and they called back and they said, um, bring them back. We'll replace them. There's no reason for that. You know, they were just brought in by the farm this morning. And I said, oh my goodness, you might want to check through the other flats because it was a significant amount. And um, so he said, you know, no problem. I said, can I just bring back the ones that are bad and you replace that? And he said he'd be happy to do that. And so um, this is what I have left. Now, I'm not going to make the uh, Pioneer Woman's Blackberry Cobbler because it only uses a cup. I'm trying to find, is it a cup? It is a two cups of fresh or frozen blackberries. And I've got more than that. These need to be used because they're not going to hang out in my fridge without getting moldy. I've got the good ones here. I'm going to use a casserole dish, prepared pie crust, and just let it go that way. So I think that, you know, this will work well. Anyway, um, props to the people that own the Belfair Fruit Company. They made it right. There was no complaint from them. They're like, how long did you have them in your car? Because, you know, we didn't. We my husband went this morning, he picked him up, he brought him home. It was just that long. It was at 1030 when he bought them and, you know, it was a half an hour when he got home, I guess. So, um, I'm going to get started with this. Just a deep dish blackberry pie with vanilla ice cream. How about we come out a little bit? <laughs> so he went back and he got the uh, blackberries that they replaced. And so I've got those in the fridge. They just, I've got in more than enough. Um, so I made a crumble here to put in. And this crumble isn't really a crumble. It'll melt, I hope. It's a splash of lemon juice, sugar, and just a little flour for thickener. Not a whole lot. In fact, I hope I didn't put too much, but I don't think I did. I put a spoonful. So I'm going to go ahead and drop that all over the top and put the top crust on. All right, I put it all over the top, and then I realized I would rather take a spoon and mix it kind of toward the bottom, too, because I want it to get all the way. And now I'll just unroll the top crust here and go ahead and lay that across the top. All right, these are kind of... um you know, um, square peg in a round hole or round peg in a square hole. I don't know. <laughs> but anyway, because this is a rectangular dish and pie are not square, I had to cut like it was too tall this way. So I cut a piece off of each one and stuck it in the corners, <laughs> hoping that I would fake enough, to, you know, fake it till I bake it. How's that sound? So I'm going to put a little bit of egg wash on here, a little sugar topping, maybe with cinnamon. Cinnamon sugar topping is good with blackberry um, cobbler and my favorite. Uh, or pie, blackberry pie. What are we calling this? It's a homemade mess. <laughs> a mess of blackberries, that's what we'll call it. Just like Oklahoma, a mess of blackberries. Has anybody got a guess on what I paid for that flat of blackberries and a Great big watermelon. I don't know what that weighs, but it is a big one. And you should know that these are, um, they're the, like the best in our area, the Hermiston. So there we go. I'm going to stick this in a 375 degree oven when I'm done. All right. It's got the egg wash and it's got cinnamon sugar. And this is heavy, heavier cinnamon than I usually make. I can't remember what I did with it last, but I know I wanted, oh, wait a minute, what was it? It was a, oh, the a, a, apple cider pound cake was heavy on cinnamon on the top. And so I made it for that, and I still have it, and I'll still use it for this. So in it goes. I think it said 35 minutes, but I'm going to check it quick. It, w it was so good. I licked that spoon clean. Uh, it was too juicy. I needed to have added more of the flour. Um, let's see what else. Mm, uh, oh, the reason it looks so brown on the crust is because I used that dark cinnamon sugar. And I was thinking about that when I was putting it on there, that it's going to look burned. But it's not burned at all. It's perfect. The crust on the bottom and the top are perfect. They could have been bigger. Like they shrank as they, as they, well, the top one did anyway. The top crust shrank a little bit away from the sides and the top and the bottom. But that's okay. You know, it's a cobbler. It's just not an, a work of art. 
And with vanilla ice cream on top, it was all that. It really was. If you stuck around this long, don't forget, how much did I spend for that flat of blackberries? How much did I spend for that watermelon? And that is all I have to say. I hope you will subscribe if you have not yet and you've thought about it. It's not a big deal. I'd love it if you did. <laughs> and um, thumbs up and comments are always appreciated. Take care, everybody.